Radford University had a retention rate of 77% in 2008, and in 2013 it was 74%, which is on par with the national average. However, they are seeing that the freshmen are the students not returning, where other colleges have it spread out between classes. We lose about 25% of the freshman class. That equates to about, about 500 students. Uh, but almost half of them are, are not, or for none, academic related reasons. They should accept people with higher GPAs and so we can compete against JMU and VCU and other uh, universities. Radford is also trying to update their facilities, which includes renovating bowling and Pocahontas. Officials hope new amenities like air conditioning and carpet will create a better on-campus experience and make freshmen want to stay. I think they're doing a pretty good job with expanding already. Um, I know that we've already have a new fitness center. We already have, you know, a new science building going up. Um, I think that as long as we keep doing that and keep expanding, that we'll do a good job and we'll keep going. Building the new fitness center cost approximately $32 million. Its plan is to help keep and bring in new students, which is Dr. Clark's main goal. You know, other universities have the same challenge. Uh, but I think that if, if we can impact those numbers by 10%, 15%, 20%, and, and you know, knock those numbers down by 100, it, it's, it's much easier to retain students and it's cheaper than it is to recruit. Radford University is currently in the process of constructing two new science buildings for campus. One is the College of Behavioral and Sciences, which accounts for one third of all the degrees earned here at Radford. Thank you for watching NRV News. I'm Matthew Perry.